Yep, there it is. Right now, it's currently very, very hot in the UK. Very hot. So I feel like it's a very appropriate time for me to run this team. Colossal and Palafin. Now, if you have no idea like about this combo at all, basically, Colossal has the ability Steam Engine. What Steam Engine does is uh, when Colossal gets hit by a water type move or a fire type move, Colossal gets plus six speed, just like, just literally instant, meaning that it basically quadruples its uh, speed stat. So right now, its speed stat is one hundred and um, fifty-nine, basically times that by four. That's the speed stat that Colossal will be at after Steam Engine procs. We have um, Palafin over here with Choice Scarf. We're gonna use Flip Turn on to Colossal. Colossal has weakness policy. It gets like the plus two attack, plus two special attack. The special attack is irrelevant because we built it just for physical attack and speed. Yeah. Um. You guys will probably face this if you haven't, then <laughs> I don't know how you haven't. Cause I mean like it's on PvP like like now and then, now and then. But yeah, um very strong strat, very strong strat. Colossal does a lot of damage with weakness policy proccing as well. We turn to ground, use earthquake. I mean, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is one of those teams where like you have to see in action to actually realize how powerful it actually is. Regarding the moves for Colossal, we've gone with a rot slide, earthquake, protect, and fire punch. Rot slide just for like adjacent damage, earthquake as well. Protect is just like a standard move and fire punch us for stab. For Palafin, we have flip turn obviously, so we can do like the strap. Um, after flip turn, actually, procs, we'll go into Dragonite because Dragonite has multi scale. So the attack that they do onto um, Palafin, well, incoming Dragonite will be half because that's what multi scale does. Uh, when Dragonite is at full HP, the damage that we take is half. We also have wave crash, jet punch, and drain punch for when Palafin does come back in his hero form. EV wise for Palafin, I built in max HP and max speed. The reason why I haven't invested anything into attack is because I'm not trying to kill Colossal here with flip turn. Also, like, we know how strong Palafin is. I mean, like, Palafin in its regular form isn't, like, strong. Colossal is quad weak to water, though. So, like, we're most likely Terra first turn, so we aren't quad weak anymore. But even without Colossal being quad weak to water, I just want to make sure that Colossal doesn't take too much damage. So, yeah, that's the reason why I have um, full investment into HP and speed and nothing into attack. For the rest of the team, we have Terra Normal Dragon Knight with clear amulet. We have E Speed, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Tailwind with multi scale. And we have Garganacle with Terra Ghost, Leftovers, um, Salt Kill, White God, Recover, and Protect. These two Pokemon are on the team, but um, they're going to be a separate video. No, trust me, Skeledurge and Brute Bonnet as a combo, very toxic, but again, you'll see that in another video. Anyway though, let's hop into PvP and see how this combo of Colossal and Palafin do. Okay, first match. Oh yeah, also, I don't think I mentioned, but um, Palafin has the Choice Scarf, just so that we ensure that we go first. I mean, like, it's not really ensured, but just to increase the likelihood. Okay, so they have uh, Fluttermane and Chiyu, boost energy, boost special attack. Special attack? Speed. Okay. Um, who goes first? I mean, probably Fluttermane, right? With it boosting speed and all. Okay, let's go with flip turn onto Colossal. We'll tear it into ground and use Earthquake. Should kill Chiyu. And should kill Fluttermane, I want to say as well. We'll go into Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight's immune to uh, ground because it's, it's, it's a flat type, obviously. So yeah. Dazzling Gleam. We do take one. Okay, flip turn. Okay, Colossal is on low HP, but it's fine. Steam engine goes off. And so does weakness policy as well. Should kill Chiyu and should kill Fluttermane here. I'm pretty pretty sure this kills Fluttermane. So yeah. Okay, let's go into Dragon Knight here. When we get the chance. Yep, yeah, Dragon Knight. Okay, um, we should go first before Chi because of the uh, speed boost. Yep. Mm hmm. Immune. Okay, how much do we do? Is the question. How much? Yep, there it is. And from there, I want to say that we've won. I don't think our um, opponent can do anything to really come back in this situation here. I don't know. Honestly, they have haze, but I don't think they do. Okay, they send an iron hand to. Okay, has has a fake out probably, and they send out King Gambit. Right. Okay. So, hmm. Mm -mm. I think over here we use um. Uh, I don't know actually. I think Dragon Claw onto Iron Hands and Earthquake again. Or do we just use... Wait, wait, wait. You know what? You know what? Okay. Let's use Earthquake with Dragonite. 
And then let's use Protect with Colossal. Because I assumed that they'll like attack Colossal. Okay, so they are taking a bit to the side. Okay, so they actually Terra. Probably. Uh, King Gambit, I wanna say? Yeah, King Gambit into what? Terra Dark. Okay. Uh, Kaltau Cleave or Sucker Punch? I am anticipating. Okay, Protect. Yep. Yeah. Okay, how much do we do with Earthquake is the question. Okay, Fake Out. Okay, onto Dragonite. Okay, Sucker Punch. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um... Sucker Punch will kill Colossal from here, definitely. But there's nothing that I can really do to prevent it. Honestly, I think I just use Earthquake and I think I just double protect again. Just bank when it working. Nothing else I can really do there. Does it work? It doesn't. Double protect, no. If, by the way, double protect is a 50 50 chance. It never works. Oh, wait, Sucker Punch didn't work as well because we didn't. I didn't even think about that. Well, Colossal goes down, but. Oh, Colossal actually survived. What? Okay, Thunder Punch onto Dragonite. Does a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, completely forgot that Mews and Protect that actually makes us a Sucker Punch doesn't actually work. I think, here, let's go with E Speed onto uh, Iron Hands. And. Um, honestly, Protect again. I'm gonna go with E Speed because if they use Sucker Punch onto Dragonite, it won't work because uh, E Speed has plus two priority. I think they'll use Sucker Punch onto Dragonite. Let's see. Okay, Protect. Yep. Yeah. Okay, E Speed does how much? Okay, damage. Sucker Punch. Yeah, they, they used it on to. I mean, like, if they used it on to Dragonite, we wouldn't have known because like, it wouldn't have worked anyway. But okay, Dragonite goes down here, which is fine. Let's go into Palafin here. And I think we'll just use Wave Crash. I think we use Wave Crash onto Iron Hands. And Earthquake with Colossal. I think that's the play. Wave Crash here. And Earthquake? Actually, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's the best thing to do here, honestly. Okay. Sucker Punch. Is it onto uh, Palafin? It is. I think we've won. Why did they attack Palafin? They shouldn't have attacked. They should have just attacked Colossal. What? I mean, we won now. Okay. Well, don't know why they did that. <laughs> we just go into Garganacle and we just use uh, Salt Cure. We use Protect with Colossal. And I mean, GG. I don't think they can really do anything here to come back. Sucker Punch again. <laughs> I mean, now you're Salt Cured. Yeah. Crit didn't really matter there. Reach protect with Garganacle here. Reach protect again with Colossal. And good game, sir. Okay, we go off protect with Colossal. We go off protect with Garganacle. Okay, well. There it is. Let's get into the second match. Okay, second match. Our opponent sends out Talonflame and Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle will probably go for fake out. If it does, is that bad? Probably. Yeah, no, probably. Let's just pretend like it doesn't. Let's just go for, um, wait, let's Terra here. And use Rot Slide to kill Talon Flame. And we'll use Flip Turn onto Colossal. Okay, so there's Fake Out, right? Talon Flame uses, okay, Brave Bird, not, not Turwin. Palafin takes it. Okay, cool. That's what Max HP will do. Flip Turn. Yep. And now we have like absurd stats, but obviously we are flinched. But that's okay, that's okay though. Next turn, we, we will definitely do damage. Let's go with Rot Slide. Uh, Talon Flame should die to this. And we'll use um, Dragon Claw onto Iron Hands. Okay, so Iron Hands uses uh, Detect. That's fine. Talon Flame goes down. 100%. Rot Slide. You're protected. Please don't miss Talon Flame. Please don't miss. Come on. Okay, okay, right. Talon Flame's down. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, nice. Uh, from this position, Colossal is obviously set up. Uh, yeah, no, I feel like we should win. Obviously, there's a chance that, you know, we don't win, but, you know, plus six speed, plus two attack. I mean, like, things are looking good here. Okay, so they send that Iron Bundle. We should outspeed it. Uh, let's go for uh, Rot Slide here. And we'll go for E Speed. In case, in case Iron Bundle has, what's it, uh, Focus Sash. Okay. Maybe has protect? Yeah, has protect. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's bad. 
That's bad. Okay, maybe Rossi can flinch. Iron bond, um, not iron bond, uh, iron hands. Please flinch, 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 flinch. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> iron hands would have used like drain punch onto Colossal, and I would have done like a lot of damage. So like, thank, thank God. It got flinched there. You know what? I think it's just worth going for Earthquake. Earthquake should do decent damage to Iron Bundle. And I obviously like all do like super effective damage to uh, Iron Hand, so I think it's worth doing. I'll just go with E Speed onto Iron Bundle here. Okay. A lot of damage. Earthquake should kill um Iron Bundle from here, I wanna say. Should? Iron Bundle isn't like tanky at all. It does. Okay, and Iron Hands also goes down. There we go. Easy as that. They send out Garganak as the last Pokemon. And, I mean, yeah, let's just use Earthquake. And, um, I don't know. <laughs> Dragon Claw. I mean, it's pretty much it, right? Pretty much it. Yeah, they just forfeit. Well, if you didn't know, <laughs> now you know. Colossal is a bit, just, just a tad bit unfair. Just a tad bit unfair, yeah. But um, I think that'll be it for me. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like, subscribe for more. But I will see you in the next video.